I formation in the backfield. They're going to go deep. And they got an open man. And he's got it. And he'll take that down to about the two yard line. So on the first pass attempt by the Dolphins, they are successful. Jordan Tucky is the receiver catching that last ball. So they go back to the ground. A quick handoff. And that pushes enough over the goal line for this first score of the game. That's Durham up six. But surely that won't last for long. It's got another two games after this. So it's going to get colder as the day goes on. Cornwall. Oh, finds some room and makes a huge tackle break. And that's the quarterback, number 13, that's finally chased down from behind. They go to the air. He's got the protection. He goes right over the middle. But it's intercepted. Right on the goal line. Number eight. For the Dolphins, saves the day, that's Jaden Tucky. Great coverage. Cornwall may, making perhaps the furthest trip out of any team this weekend, coming all the way from Cornwall, but there's Phillips over the goal line. Touchdown, Durham. 9.41 left in the third quarter. Durham's up 16-0, and they've got the ball. They hand off to Phillips, who reverses field and gets away and steps out of the steps out of the tackler. Wearing number one. And what do they do? They go to him. He gets a step. Oh, and he catches it, and he's in for the touchdown. Tucky. And a great adjustment to the ball that was a little short and underthrown. He makes the adjustment and with a defender in his hip pocket, he still comes down with the catch and scores the major for Dolphins. And we want to create an atmosphere that's inclusive to everybody. And I think our parents can, can play a big part in that. And here's a big pass here from Cornwall. Nice. And another that's... big completion. He's got it. It's just whether they rule him in the end zone or not. Here's the oh, replay. Looks, Let's have a look. Looks like they're ruling him on the one. But unbelievable concentration. I don't know. Oh, I, would, that, I would probably give that to him. A, that's close. But they are on the one-yard line. And, wow, what, what would this do for this Cornwall team if they can get it in? Well, Especially they, with a with their backup quarterback. This in. is exactly what you said they needed. They needed a big a big drive, and, and this is what they've been able to do with a, a backup quarterback trying to figure it out. And he's taking her on the edge, and he looks like he's going to get it in. Jean Thomas Nadeau around the corner using his speed. But how impressive is this for this young quarterback to come in? And get the offense going like this. That's that's unbelievable. You know, at this age too, for for kids to just be able to, to to come in as a as a backup and be able to take a drive like that in a big stage here, that's what that's what these these days are about. You know, both teams have been very equally matched up front, and I think you can tell at this age group.